Hello, bonjour, and shalom. Hey guys, how are y'all doing on this fine evening or morning or midday or whenever your time is? Now, about a year ago, I uploaded a video called Back on the Saddle. And you know, when I made that, I really did believe that I was back on the saddle, but I wasn't. And I think I am now. I think I'm back on the saddle. I think the time is nigh. I think the time to strike is now. The iron is hot. I'm ready to trot. You're looking like a thought. Sick rhymes aside, I have for the past few months been wanting to get back into YouTube. But I kind of thought, oh, that's work. So let's, let's not do that. But up until a few days ago, I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. It's work, whatever, let's just do it, because I know it's going to be something that I've accomplished afterward, and it's going to be hype, it's going to make me feel hype, it's going to make all y'all feel hype, because you're going to be like, dang, this is revolutionary, and yes, it is, thank you. And so this revolutionary idea is called M Talks, and I know that title is pretty garbo, so if you got anything better, I'd love to hear it, because... Yikes, that's a big why. It would be a series of videos where I'm just going to talk about whatever's catching my attention. Whatever is grabbing my eyeballs. I just want to share stuff with you guys in my opinion on things. It's probably just my arrogance, but I feel like I have something maybe of value to say. If it, maybe my two cents is worth maybe three cents. Right now, I want to be talking about philosophy and just human psychology because that fascinates me the big why this this man oh he did this crime okay he did it we know how he did it but why did he do it did he do it just for the money or did he do it because is there something deep within his psyche that you know needs to be satisfied the questions raised from this field are exactly what get me so very intrigued and enable me to think on a deeper level. Now, I wouldn't doubt some of you, if not all of you, have wondered why things and people are the way they are and have used these questions and the overall pursuit of knowledge as a means to motivate and spark innovation. And that is precisely the topic of today's video, motivation. As described by an incredibly pragmatic and resourceful site called RhymeZone, which yeah, have you guys heard of like the dictionary, like dictionary.com and thesaurus? Yeah, they ain't got nothing on RhymeZone. RhymeZone is the new king of the hill, my guy. Imagine having all the shite those sites have, plus rhymes and other things. You got your antonyms, your synonyms, you got all the nims. It's just a better site, guys. I'm not sponsored by them because, of course, I don't have a sponsor, but I'm just going to tell you now. You gotta check them out. If you do any sort of writing, if you got schoolwork, whatever, you got your rhymes, they're gonna get to you on time, because it's not always easy to rhyme on time, but with Rhyme Zone, you're gonna be just fine. So anyway, they describe motivation as a psychological feature that arouses an organism to action towards a desired goal. And the reason for this action, that which gives purpose and direction to behavior. Now just let that sink in for a second. I'm going to let that marinate. I'm going to let that stew in your brain holes for a second. So from that comes the reason for why we do things. And not just why people do things, but also why things do things. Look at dogs, for example. From my basic understanding of animal psychology, I conclude the reasoning of a dog's actions are purely instinctual. They live in a very animalistic way. And of course they do. They are indeed animals. But when I think about the way dogs operate, I see our human instincts falling not too far away from them. But whereas we have rules and morals, dogs just do dog things. See, let me tell you, this fits in right with how I see motivation. You see, the modern English word is actually derivative of the Latin word mover, which I've absolutely butchered, which means to move. And to move means to do something, and to do something is to get up and make things and progress in something, and uh, you can go on with things to do. And that is exactly why motivation can be a fleeting thing, because motivation is greatly dependent on attitude. And not just the attitude of you, but also the attitude of the people and things around you. See, come to think of it, 
That has to be one of the largest factors why I believe finding motivation in this current time can be both very difficult and very easy. I say both because it really is a pendulum. It swings from high to low and vice versa. I have a friend that drives a Versa and you know, it really intrigues me what motivated him to make that decision, but uh, anyway. Drive can be difficult to find because you may feel that the amount of things you have to do in your life is just astronomical and unattainable. But on the other hand, now more than ever we can see the fruits of our labor more directly because the Western world has the gift of the internet where you can, you know, upload whatever, whenever. It's kind of ungoverned in some respects, but it's kind of the beauty of it. Just like YouTube. YouTube is one of the reasons why I'm motivated to speak my mind. I wanted to get back into YouTube for quite some time. I actually used to upload all the goddamn time back in 2015. I just remember having so much fun with that and an immense drive to make videos despite the shoddy quality. I would edit on an iPad and I recall being super stringent with how I would always make sure the guns would operate realistically by putting the proper effects like bullet casings and smoke after each muzzle flash. I was actually so anal about every shot casing that I would go frame by frame on the automatics and put casings and smoke overlay. Though the casings more resemble cheese than actual brass, I thought it was absolutely brilliant. And yeah, that was pretty much my grade seven, eight year in a shell nut by making the highest quality videos I possibly could with an iPad mini. Some surprisingly comprehensive editing and special effects apps like iMovie and iGun Pro FX. But the most substantial feeling I felt frequently back then was really what I've been lacking in the years since. And what I mean by that is I've found my levels of motivation in the past few years have really been quite unstable. I find that my motivation spikes when I do something I care about and drops when I do stuff I'm not. And I think that's really how everyone is, right? It's like, oh, I'm proud of this. I I have passionate for this, so I have motivation for it. But when you don't, you don't. So for me, that's kind of kind of sometimes it's kind of school, like just going to school and just doing what I need to do. Because I most of it, I'm like, ugh, I don't really want to do that. But you look back at it and you're like, oh, yep, that's I did that for a good reason because that's what my future is. But you know, it's kind of what a 1950s dad would say, son. It builds character, and you know, despite his uh, racist tendencies, that 19. 50s dad is it's kind of right. You know, you can't really appreciate something until you've been on both sides. Both the good and the bad, the right and the wrong. But to me, I think motivation is that unique thing that everyone has been on both sides of. I think no matter who you are, either you're motivated or you're not. That thing I always find so interesting with that argument, oh, so-and-so his, oh, he's got, or he or she, whoever, potato, I don't care what you identify as, a cucumber. You know, oh, they've got all this good stuff. Oh, their life's great. Oh man, they got all these nice cars, so oh, whatnot. How can they be depressed? What gives them the right to be sad when they have all this stuff? But I'll tell you guys, you know, that's that's not that's not dictated on what you got. Sure it can help, because it's like, oh, you know, I got a lot of stuff. It makes you feel good in the short term, but in the long term, it's just hollow. It's like, oh, there's stuff here, but they're really, it's just stuff. There's not more to it. I just find that so interesting that people don't really understand stuff like that like they can understand motivation, which is so strange because how you're feeling and motivation go hand in hand. They're pretty much synonymous. If you guys are going to take one thing away from this video, let it be that motivation is dependent on you. It's dependent on what you do and don't do, what choices you make and what choices you don't make. Sure, there are other factors, external and otherwise, that will also play into this, but it really is on you. So it's time to just get up and do that thing you gotta do, because afterwards you're gonna feel pretty swell.